Today's Bible study is titled Grace Teaches Us. Some think that there is too much focus on God's grace, post-salvation, and not enough on responsibility, code for good works. Generally, their belief is that if you teach slash preach too much on God's grace, it is probable that believers hearing such will do whatever they want instead of doing what God wants. But does such belief have any rightly divided scriptural basis? Note, right division is key. Consider the following, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly, in this present world, Titus 2 verses 11 to 12. Let's dig into this a bit. Here we see something about God's grace that many never seem to consider slash teach as Paul instructs Titus, and us, that it is God's grace, example, the same grace that appears to all and brings them salvation, which further teaches all who receive it how to live. And God's grace does this with no mention about the need to teach law or rules or requirements, refer to Colossians 2 verse 6. Just how does this grace-applied teaching work, you might ask? Well, simply put, God's grace teaches us, not by reminding us of who we once were, example, sinners condemned, but rather teaching us who we now are, example the righteousness of God, in Christ Romans 3 verse 22. Grace teaches us to live from our new identity as a member of the body of Christ, in Christ, and not our, now dead, old identity, in Adam. So, it really comes down to a choice. Believe that God's grace can do all that His Word says and thereby teach us to live rightly or be one that tries to help grace out with legalistic observances and teachings. Believer, how will you choose? Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.